Hello everyone, welcome back to Staxall. Um, this is it, this is going to be the end of the museum construction, for the most part. And I know that sounds like I'm going to go back on my promise, but I'm not. All that means is there might be some things added to it as missions progress, that kind of thing. Um, but today is mostly this room. It's a little bit all over the place. Um, I want to try and get this organised correctly um, so that the right things are in the right place. The money is going to be a problem because obviously I need to buy some of this stuff um, to put them in the right places. Uh, now, as far as I'm aware, I, obviously I need to keep this stuff here. Let's keep this stuff here. Um, I still need to find one more painting. I did spot one the other day over here for sale. Um, but it was like 6,000 and I didn't have enough and now it's not for sale so I think I might have to just keep an eye out for the paintings maybe so I'll just need to do that um, but yeah so that's the idea that's the plan um, and now let's get to it hello so I'm back doing the museum now this is gonna be the final so don't worry um, and basically I want to get an extension I want to have a slight extension on the side because I want to have part of this to be water based museum um, with the fish displays and we have water based um, dinosaurs as well or, or bones not necessarily dinosaurs so I want to put them all together so for that we will need an extension now I still want to do the pattern that I've got on the outside of the main building so I make sure that I have the right gaps and then I demolish the rest of the wall now the same way that the other ones have been, this is all made in wood, because it's going to be ringed off, so you can't actually get to it. Um, now, I do actually work this out incorrectly. Uh, so I have to get rid of this end, but I just shoot it all forward, and it's not a problem. There you go. And there we have it. Now, um, we have two, as, as you may have spotted in past. So I need to have another place because it's too long. Um, it's not long enough to have both of the skeletons. So we have to now put this extra bit here. so that we can now fit both sets. Um, and now it's just a case of, of rebuilding the wall. Obviously I haven't removed half of it yet, but... I decide that I would like to do the, uh, the, the actual fence now and the fence does actually cause me a little bit of a problem because the doorway to the hall is actually thinner than the doorway to the main entrance so that causes a bit of a problem because they don't fit in line and if it's not in line my head explodes so I have to kind of do something about that but even though it's getting dark I decide that I can definitely get rid of this wall uh, before it's too dark. I'm not 100% sure if not sleeping affects you that much. I think it's probably the same as like Harvest Moon in that if you don't get to bed in time, you will probably collapse. But that's never actually happened yet. Uh, but I'll go and have a little kick. And I've picked up the dinosaurs. So here is the first one. This is the big one. 
This has three sections. Yes, I put the wrong first piece down. But there it is. That's the first one. And I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put this yet. But I decide, first of all, to put it there. And then I think, actually, no. Uh, move it up against the, uh, the fence. Makes a lot more sense. And then I can place this here. I don't really get what that is. I'll explain all that in a minute. But it's good because it's there. I can move this forward just a fraction more now. There it is. And there's our little fish dinosaur display. So now I need to finish the walls. I know I need to put the uh, the windows in. But it is now predominantly just rebuilding the walls. And making sure that the whole thing um, is the right height and that everything works. Now I don't have enough of that of I don't have enough of those bricks for the for the gaps. Doesn't work. Um, I need to go buy some more of those in a minute. There we go. We need to put the windows and then we refinish the walls. Um, I will also have to do the lights on the inside as well. But there we go. That's the majority of the wall rebuilt. Um, I am also going to need some ceiling. So I could take a little piece so that I know what the colour is. Because even though they're the same on the bottom, if you put a different colour, it distincts it from the rest. So there would be a, like a line. I don't want that. There you go. We're going to finish the ceiling. And it's coming along very nicely. I do run out, so I do have to go back and get some more. <laughs> And now it's the next day, and I just want to finish it all now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to finish the roof and the ceiling everywhere. That is now the plan. So I've got to get all of the walls around the dinosaurs up to the correct height so that there's enough height there. Whereas I want the hallways between the rooms to be a little bit shorter. So there's more of a shorter feel there. And I am now looking forward to what it is that I'm going to do next. I'm looking to try and consider what it is I would like to do. This was a real task for me this was something i immediately wanted to do when i found out there were skeletons and i really like this building i really do but i'm i'm not sure now someone does want to move to the town so technically i could work on that next i could work on their house it would involve more building, but it's something that I think, you know, a lot of this is building. Um, I might focus a bit on the farm next. I want to try and get some animals and maybe set up some chickens. I really don't want the animals to wander off. I'd happily get a couple more cows, to be honest, if I could keep them in an area. They just, they won't stay still. <laughs> So if there is 
a, a fence that actually stops animals from wandering around? Let me know. Hello everyone, so I'm going to cut in here because I have bought myself a new painting. Uh, there it is, look at that. Fruit in bowl is the painting. Um, it was for sale, so I had to buy it. Um, it doesn't really fit in there because of the awkward sizes, but I don't care, look at that. That is all I needed because now... Um, we've got tier 2. We've done it. We've got a tier 2 museum. Totally wasn't expecting to find that. Aha, uh -huh, so we need one more thing for tier 3. Um, but there you go. That is really cool. I also wanted to bring up the slightly strangeness of, of everything that's going on here. I have a yellow bunny phone. I have a blue voxel boy. I have a blue bunny phone. And I have yellow socks. No one's saying anything. I've, speaking, I've spoken to everyone in the town. I'm collecting their phones. And no one seems to care. It's very, very strange. Um, let's see if we can find the, the guy in charge of the museum anyway. There he is. We're going to see what he says now. We've got. A, he might not say anything. It's a new discovery. Must record it. 520. Nice. Okay. So basically every time we find new stuff we have to go and see him anyway. Um, and we did also find a Will-O-The-Wisp. Which is something new. And that's lovely. There you go. So I'm going to get back to the building. Because the building's coming along nicely. I will see you guys shortly. And I'm back. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad that I've got the painting. I have since seen another two. But they were too much money. And the following day, um, I had enough money and they weren't there. So, a little bit frustrating. But at least I know that they're there now. Um, that, that at least gives me knowledge that I need to try and do that. That's kind of the next thing I'm doing. Now, I I decide I want to have the same ceiling in the hallways as I have in the main building. But I changed my mind. Once I actually get them on and I have a look at them, I don't like it. And I just feel like they need to be just plain old stone. So eventually, I will change that back and you will see that. <laughs> But there are a decent selection of animals. And with the farm going the way that it is, I really, um, like I was saying just now, I really feel that I want to do something. Chickens or pigs or cows. I have two cows, obviously. They are just annoying as hell because I have to catch them every time. But... I do need to try and find some kind of uh, fence that stops the animals from wandering. I'm making sure that the height are the correct levels. And that's when I decide I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm just going to stick with the stone for the hallways. Now I've left that gap there. Because frankly I wanted to do like upside down steps. So that they went up at an angle. But you can't buy upside down steps. <laughs> so I, I fill that gap up as well eventually. back to the wall of the uh, of the antiquities room and as you can see I'm about to run out of stone again <laughs> it takes a lot more stone than I would have liked because it all costs so much money um, I get rid of this as well and then we're back and it's daytime again it takes so much time, but this time I have um, I have lights, I have wall lights, and I have ceiling lights. Mm. 
It takes a little bit just to get the arrangement, but then we have it. There we go. And I'm going to finish off the ceiling so we can place the ceiling lights on it. I was thinking about doing like a whole episode of fishing because honestly it's not something I've done that much of I have done a little bit but I know that you get different fish when it's like raining or during the night I think so I wouldn't mind getting some of that up and from what I can understand um, the final piece that I need for the museum third level is actually a painting that I get as a part of a mission so I need to get things for him to notify and say oh you got this and then in theory that should level that up the other thing I've noticed building this as you'll see here is that the ceiling lights and the wall lights really don't give off that much light which is just frustrating um, because then the ceilings and the walls are very heavily lit but the floor isn't I fell off so I did have to go all the way back round but I believe I have enough stone now and then I can do the ceiling in here as well And for the most part, we have ourselves a finished museum. Alright, but that's basically me finished. I'm not going to have you sit through me doing some more ceiling, so I'm going to cut to myself to give you the grand tour of the finished museum. Alright, people, so welcome this is it so this is going to be the last update you see probably for the museum it is mostly done there's a few little bits and pieces that need doing but that's more down to personal needs to sort out than anything else it doesn't really need a thing i don't know what to do about the roof i don't know if i need to add a roof there or if it needs to be something i need to do myself i'm not sure yet um but there you go so this is the entrance as we've seen a lot i love the a nice stegosaurus in the middle okay now obviously I fixed the clocks because there was two but they still have to be in this room so we've got one above the, that entrance way and we've got one over the main door now this X section is the section I have not done yet haven't decided what I'm going to do here properly this was going to be the bug display as you can see this is where all like the bugs and the butterfly displays are. Um, this thing here came with the other displays and it is essentially a seashell display. So I can get some fancy shells and I can place them on here and it will look really nice and lovely. It's a bit too close to the wall to be honest. Um, but obviously all of this needs to be arranged slightly better. I need to put a bit more in here. The amber um, is okay here for the time being. Um, but yeah, this, this side is the side I haven't really organised yet. And this is the side that I'm going to sort out myself just as and when. Um, so, so when I come in here next time, there's a chance that you may see it look slightly different. I'm just going to put this there because I do have some fence just 
just for the time being. I don't think that's in line uh, because the doors are slightly wider. Um, but that's fine. That's what I've had to do over here. Okay, but this here, this is our C section. It's our wildlife C section. Okay, C section. So against the wall here, um, you see I can even go... Like that, because then it tail it tapers in. You see, I prefer the way that looks. Oh, you see, I'm not sure about this side if we're being completely honest, uh, but we need to sort that out anyway. But yeah, so you got the three fancy official displays against the wall. Okay, I've already got a frog and a fan Nemo, so I'll put him in there. There you go. Um. We then have our aquatic dinosaurs, one against there, and one along the back there. We've got that there. Because that is like a sea fossil, really. Um, and then the fancy plinths at the, around it. And then over the back here we have that one there. I'm not 100% sure what that's supposed to be, the description was a bit weird. But it fits in with the water, so I'll put it there. Um, so there you go, that is our water section all finished, look at that, looking lovely if I think so myself, that is all officially done, just the more I catch fish, once I catch fish I will obviously place them on the plimps, I've, I want to see if there's any kind of bigger fish, I want to place some bigger fish along the back, so now it's just more about fishing, and that don't look too bad, it looks fine enough. For the time being so then you come through into this corridor and look we have ourselves our dinosaur corridor here with the dinosaur egg and the dinosaur footprint looking lovely you see We've got our mammoth and our pterodactyl and then this is our antiquities room um i want to change this because the book doesn't fit in the center so i need to probably put two plimps rather than one um but you can see the two bobbleheads, my golden, and then we got the tree, and we got the, the ship in the bottle, and then the guy who's in the airship had a pile of cash um, for one star bit. So I bought a pile of cash. There it is. We've got a little pile of cash in our antiquities room as well. Um, so there we have it. This is our museum. It's all finished. Oh, like I said, mostly. I do want to put um, ceiling tiles on, uh, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet. And I do want to finish this, put some seashells on there, rearrange some of these a little bit. Again, not 100% sure what I'm going to do necessarily. Because um, you can come in here. What I might do is I might uh, put this off so you can't actually get in there. And then just have this stuff around. But we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so that is that is the museum. All done and dusted. Um, now, um, obviously, I'm not going to carry on with this now in your, in your videos. Um, so there's a chance you'll see it on its own. Um, like, you know, as I come in and out of the area, you'll probably see it. But what I'm going to do next... Yeah, because the texture hadn't loaded. I wasn't 100% sure what that was. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do... I've still got all this stuff. People don't seem to want to have it. Um, but I have a house. Amelia wants to live here. So I need to find a place for Amelia to live. And I'm wondering whether back here might be a nice little area. Because it's next to these... It's next to the house and this. Just like here. This area here, maybe. Um next to the shop so that will be my next thing is i'm going to be building amelia's house and welcoming her to the town so thank you so much for watching um the museum is finished i'm i'm really really glad with it um like i said the bugs is going to take me a little while but it's a personal issue more than anything else so thanks so much for watching please like the video Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas of things that you want me to do or you want me to look at or you want advice on how to do things within the game, then obviously please ask in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.